This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-250 Crew Cab short bed. It's a uh, six liter turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive. It's a Larry, which is leather. It has 152,840 miles. It was purchased in Las Vegas uh, from Carson City Dodge Chrysler as a trade-in. Um, we were very, very fortunate. This has happened a couple times lately where a vehicle comes in and they don't announce equipment it has probably because they don't know what they're looking at this one is a stage two bulletproof meaning it's got the bulletproof egr cooler bulletproof oil cooler and the external oil filter when you look back here and you see that guy there and then you go in there and see all the bulletproof you love it okay it's a beautiful thing <laughs> so that was exciting to see <coughs> now somebody laid a something on top of the radiator and cracked the top of the radiator so we sent it to monsoon to get it looked at they did a radiator they did front brake pads and rotors they did uh brake fluid uh, flush headlight bulbs differential fluid service air filter clean and recharge new headlight switch um and then this thing was on 265s like little tiny circus tires i imagine the guy who traded this in kept those wheels for his next truck the previous wheels we had to buy brand new wheels and we got a smoking deal there were closeouts at discount tires they wanted 450 a piece for them i bought all four for 400 bucks and then i found uh some 18s on craigslist i found three of them obviously you date four so i had to buy one brand new one and i had to buy three used and the used had 10,000 miles on them and they were in really good shape um anyway i'll show you all the receipts for all this stuff so you can see it um really nice truck really nice running truck um pretty good looking truck i mean it's black so it's going to show everything but i encourage you to go through the photos and determine for yourself if the cosmetics are good enough for you or not um but uh, i think they're pretty cool it also has amp research uh running boards which are really cool and expensive Anyway, my brother took uh, probably 60 to 80 HD photos. I encourage you to go through those photos and look at them so you know what you're buying. Uh, my job in these videos is to tell you how great it is. It's to point out stuff like this. This tailgate's got all kinds of stuff going on. A little dent here. Take this plate off. Right here. I mean, there's a little scratch and stuff. It's 150,000 mile uh, 06, so it's going to have that stuff. But... Um, if you go over the photos, you'll be able to see everything. And uh, that's that. Pretty simple. It's got a brackets for a fifth wheel hitch. It's got air ride. Where's the door for the air ride? La, 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 la. I'm guessing somewhere around here. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Right there. Boom. So that's air ride and a stealth stealth uh, shocks. Obviously a lift. I don't like these at all, by the way. When you take them off, you gotta clean glue off for four hours, and I wasn't feeling like doing that. All right, let me fire this guy up. He also has a horn here, which is pathetic. Listen, what is that? <laughs> 152 846. I always thought I was gonna hear an air horn when I did that, and I didn't get an air horn. I got that. <laughs> so, there you go. All right, so here's the one new tire, RNG tires, one new tire, and then they mounted four. So it's one new tire and four mounts on three used tires. Here are the used tires I found on Craigslist up in the foothills. Rich dude had a TRX that he paid 100 grand for, and he went four wheeling and he uh, broke one tire and wheel and traded it in. So he had these three tires. Um, so there you go. That's what the tires looked like when I bought them. Um, here's the uh, Monsoon. This is the uh, invoice from them for their repairs. Uh, 1116 radiator, engine oil filter guy. When you do, uh, when you take out the on engine oil filter that leaves a big hole so i like to put a cap on it so i'll put a, i put we had to put, put a cap on it so it looks better 
um, and also water likes to collect there when you wash your motor and stuff. So that's closed. Front disc pads and rotors, brake fluid uh, flush. Let's see, this is the light switch, differential fluid, air filter, blah, blah, blah. Oh, these are the bulbs and this is the switch. $1,535, okay? The rest of it is just parts of the stuff that we bought, but that's all linked in the ad. You can read all that stuff yourself. Um, here's the uh, auto check on the vehicle. There's your VIN, no title brands, um, no accidents, no damage, um, no other type state title brands or anything. Um, odometer check is good. Looks like it was born in Chico, California, so it was in California, which is why it's in pretty good shape underneath, because it was living dry. There you go. That'll be linked in there. You can also look at that. Here's the title. Uh, State of Nevada, clear Nevada title. There's your VIN. This guy, Thomas. Thomas signed it off to Carson City Dodge with 152809. Okay, and then of course, Carson Dodge signs it off to us. All right. I'm going to the hood. Ugh. I'm getting a cold right now. I'm not in a good mood. <laughs> All right, there's your Ford stamp here. So you know you have an original fender. Ford stamp on the core support. <laughs> Aftermarket air box. This is cleaned up and recharged. Uh, there's your cat sticker. Ford stamp. Should be another Ford stamp there, and there is. And should be another one right there. Okay. Now if I can reach it. No blow by at all. That's a beautiful thing, also. I'm on my toes, tiptoes right now trying to put this thing on. Anyway, that cap right there, when you do an external oil cooler and all that stuff, you don't need that. So there's a big hole there. So that's what that cap is for that we buy. Just to fill that hole. Because that one's bad and I don't like that. It. it can collect water there. You don't want your, your little pond on top of your motor. So I always buy one of those for them. Although they say it's not necessary. Let's see if I can on, off. A little bit of glare there. Seat forward, back, seat down, seat up, rear up, rear down, front up, front down. Got some weather techs here, hiding nothing, manuals. Oh, you know what? We have a DVD player. And I I purposely uh, never even demo the DVD players because when I do, they eventually go somewhere and then they're like, it didn't work. I'm like, ugh. So <laughs> I, every time I do that, I regret it, you know, because I don't know if it's user error on their end or if it's really broken, but it worked for me type of thing. So I always just tell people it doesn't work. But that thing looks pretty new. Uh, and it's got a little SD slot on the side. I'll bet it works fine, but uh, we're not selling DVD players. I have no idea. I bet those are speakers in the center console. Okay, mirrors out, in, down, up, other side, out, in, up, and down, tilt wheel, adjustable pedals up and down, heated seat on and off, forward, back, up, down, tilt forward, down, front up and down. This seat has a tear right here on the seam and this, you can do this whole seat cover about two and a quarter send it to an upholstery guy. We just decided to stop the bills because I don't think anyone who buys is gonna care and they're probably gonna put seat covers on it anyway, um, especially if it's a hot weather car. So there's really no point in doing that. When they're cars or SUVs, we do almost every time. Um, unless it's really bad, we had a King Ranch we just did a video for that was really bad. Um, let's see, um, what else? 
Uh, AC up and down, temperature up and down, steering controls up and down. There's all that stuff. Let's see, rear window. Uh, what else we got? Trailer brakes. Tow on and off trailer just connected. Yeah, we know that because there is no trailer. All right, let's do system check. Engine temp okay. Transmission temp okay. Pro oil pressure okay. Brake fluid level okay. All doors closed. Air filter okay. 150 miles to empty. All right, system check complete. Radio. Dinner and El Tour de Tucson is set for tomorrow. Officials are spreading the word. This is from the steering column. Let's see, let's change mode, FM. Let's say next. All right, so that works fine. CD player, blah, blah, blah. Let's just look in the center console here and make sure that I'm, my guess is correct about these. Yes, so you got three of these with the uh, headphones in them in the center console. And you got a remote Iron Man, it says on it. Um, oh, I think that's a wheel lock key, too. Isn't it? Oh, that's just remote. Um, I think that's about it. We put it in neutral, go to four low. Now we're in four low. Oh, my gosh. Did I just screw up? Oh, my God. I thought I hit the wrong button on the camera. <laughs> that would have made me mad. I'd start over again. All right. There's drive. That's in four low. In reverse because I'm going home after this video I feel crappy that's reverse now we go to neutral go to four high we drive out the gate this thing runs great I drove this thing across town from monsoon I like it I've driven thousands of six O's in the last 15 years and I know when I don't like them and I know when I like them and I like it all right if you come to Tucson and drive this truck home you'll pay the following you'll pay your state tax rate plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee, okay? If you decide to pay from uh, out of state by wire, once we receive the wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We would scan it in the envelope, we mail it in, okay? Um, you'll have it sh shipped to you, the title will already be in your mailbox when the shipper shows up with the truck, and you'll go get plates. It's very simple. Um, what else? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, if you need help with shipping, let me know early in the transaction. I'd be happy to do it for you. We can roll the price of the shipping and the price of the truck. Um, not a problem. Um, just let us know, all right? Um, la, la, la. Deposit. Deposit's $500. Um, once we have your deposit, we will, uh, they will no longer be for sale. But if you don't get your deposit in and we haven't agreed upon price, it's not going to be off the market. So please get your deposit in, okay? Last part of every video, I say this every single time, if you wanna to go to the thousands of videos I've made over the last 15 years, you will see me say, you will hear me say, in the last five minutes or so of every video, this. We don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have uh, attendants serving scones and lattes. We don't have fountains and nice pavement. We have a, basically the worst paved road in Tucson that our taxes pay 8.7% for. Um, we're basically four-wheeling down Gardner Lane. Uh, that's what we have, okay? But that also means that we don't have the bills that they have at the Auto Mall. We're on Wetmore Road right now. If you go down Wetmore to Auto Mall Drive, you're at the Auto Mall, about a mile from here. There, you can pay a lot more money for this truck. And when you do, because they crushed you, if something breaks on it, they have to fix it or you're probably going to kill them because of what you paid for it. Well, we don't we don't charge you what they charge you so that you can fix your own vehicle. There's only two of us here, all right? We don't have time, uh, and there's no built-in money for future repairs. Um, so you're the owner on day one. That's the only give and take. We give you the auto check. We show you the title. We show you what we did, what we didn't do. Um, and bottom line is, on day one, you're the owner, and you're fixing your vehicle with the thousands and thousands of dollars that you, fixed, that you, bought, that you saved buying it from us. We can't fix any cars and do what we're doing, okay? Um, that being said, having driven these, we wouldn't have invested as much money as we did in this vehicle. Uh, tires and wheels and effort on my part just finding these tires and wheels um, if we didn't like the truck, obviously. 
Um, and it starts off with the stage two bulletproof. That's very, very impressive. And uh, then when you drive it, it's just impressive. But it doesn't mean that something funky won't happen the day you buy it. I mean, you never know. It could have a window motor go out, the radio decide to take a crap. Um, who knows, you know, anything could happen. And if it does, just know that you saved a fortune buying from us. And when you send it to a shop, it's paid for because of that, okay? <coughs> I think that's about it. God, I am dying. Ugh. Ugh. So it's like, it's about two o'clock. No, it's not. It's about one o'clock in Tucson on Friday. I think it's the 18th or the 19th. I don't even know what day it is anymore. I think it's the 19th. Um, and I am going to call it a day because I think I'm about ready to drop. Hopefully this video didn't suck as bad as I suck making it. Holy cow. But I know one thing, it's nice and cool in here. All right, let's back this guy up. Guess we'll get to check out the parking sensors too while I'm backing it up. There you go. There's our backup sensors. All righty then. <clears throat> A really nice truck. 152,848 miles on it now. Thank you for your time.